Welcome back, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Denver, Colorado to Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll be flying at a flight level of 8,000 feet. We've got thunder and lightning and various weather effects going. Let's go ahead and reset the view. Go back inside. Take off the parking brake and let's get started. Seeing some water droplets on the windshield, so I might have to turn the, sh the wipers on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull up. Notice it's a little smoother lifting off if you go a little faster than the bottom of the white line for flaps lift. Trying to stay straight down the runway if I can. That's often a little bit difficult for some reason. Go ahead and set up for autopilot. That'll give me my flight director. And let's do gear up. And flaps up. Should begin to gain some speed now. Going to turn more in the direction of our heading. K four six seven leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Denver Tower KA four six seven frequency change. Denver approach KA467 is type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles south of Charlie Oscar 127,200 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. So trying to get that heading fine-tuned. Squawk 1731. Squawk 1731 KA467. Okay, so we've pretty much reached our target altitude. I'm going to go ahead and level off. And gain a bunch of speed now. I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot. Cleared through the Bravo airspace KA467. That warning is about the yaw damper. Control D will turn that on. Skywest 5414, please expedite your climb 12,000 feet. Alright, let's go outside and take a look. Well, not much to see. I'm going to grab my Xbox controller. Just hit the right bumper, and what I remember from before was when I did that, it shut the engines down. I can't tell if that's actually happening or not. It seems to be going just fine. So maybe they've remapped that key. I can't really check the options here. But it seems like we're fine. Skywest 5414, please expedite your climb 12,000 feet. So the orientation on the joystick has changed. So before I would. Turn the joystick to the right to see the right side of the plane. Now I have to do that to the left. I'll have to see if I can change that in the settings. Very dramatic weather shots here.
so the controller will get a, take some getting used to. It does seem like I didn't accidentally shut the engine down. Maybe it's not right bumper, maybe it's trigger? I don't know. I'll have to look at the settings and see. Just very gray on the inside. You can see the water. I don't know if the Going windshield wipers are really needed or not. Feels like it's just a light rain. Denver approach K A four six seven eight thousand feet. Set the view. Just really not much to look around at here. In the middle of a big cloud bank. I'll try dropping down with the drone and see if I see anything. like they've changed the speed settings on the drone. It's not descending as fast as I'm used to, but we'll see if we can find something to look at down here. Starting to see a little bit of the ground. With the recent updates, the game seems a lot more stable. I'm not noticing stutters. Frame rate seems to be a lot higher. I need to see if I can revert the drone back to its original speed. It, it's not descending quite as fast. It used to go pretty fast, um, almost too fast, so maybe they made it more realistic. But it does mean it's taking me a long time to get below this cloud deck. Definite thunderclap there. Let's just go check out the plane quickly. 
heading looks good, speed looks good, altitude looks good. Engine dials look good. Still the rain is coming, but I don't see the need to use the wipers. I haven't adjusted the barometer recently. I have a feeling that it's probably way off. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it was quite a bit off. Starting to be able to see some civilization here from flight level. Maybe only briefly, it seems to be getting more obscured again by the clouds. Go back to the drone. Alright, well that's pretty easy to see. Yeah, they've dramatically reduced the speed of the drone. I should be dropping a lot faster, but those high speeds don't make for nice cinematic shots either, so maybe this is not such a bad thing. Let's rotate around and look at this stuff as we go by. Okay, well that's not bad. If I start to ascend, we're going to go back into the cloud bank. Okay, I'm going to go back to the external view. Let's go back inside for a minute. Kind of nice hearing the raindrops hitting the plane. It seems real, very realistic. I'll turn the wipers on for a moment, but I don't think they're going to make any difference, especially since you can't really see anything. So let's be right here. Yeah, that won't really make any difference. Hold to lock. I guess if you hold... Oh, then you can... It stays on the control. Okay. But I couldn't figure out how to get it to go back to slow. Move x-axis to interact. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. No doubt these are added to make it easier to fly on the Xbox. These have always been very hard to set. Especially when you get into some of the controls that have two parts. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm not finding one, but some of them have an inner and an outer dial. Okay, there's the uh, drone again. K8467, hey, you leaving my airspace radar service. Terminated, clock 1200. Kind of hit that key by accident, but it's kind of interesting to see what it's going through. There's a lot of water there, or no, I guess that's the ground, it's just hard to see it. Cheyenne approach K A four six seven is type beach craft King Air five miles. Reset the internal view. Go external. Request flight following. Look around again. Now I have to get my brain reoriented to the 360 joystick. So if I want to go to the right, I do I go I go left. Okay. It feels like in this view the joystick is operating, moving the plane rather than moving the view. And if I just keep that in mind, it might make it easier to figure out what I'm going to move to. So if I want to move the plane to the right, there we go to the right. Nope. Going to the left, huh? All right. Well, I'll have to still have to figure out how to get my head around that. Okay, we're quickly approaching, we need to slow down. I'm going to go ahead and drop the throttle. I'm going to set a flight level of 7,100 feet. Still can't really see much yet. I think we can turn the wipers off safely. There we go. All right. Okay, we need to slow down quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down part way. Just a bit more. Yeah, landing gear down to create some drag. And we can put the flaps down all the way. I will have to push up on the throttle to compensate. Now they have this new labeling time approach. I don't know if that means it's the pattern entry or if it's a point where I'm supposed to descend to the pattern entry. Not really sure. We'll figure that out. The pilot hasn't called the airport yet, so usually that's at the 10 nautical mile point, so that must not be that point. Anyway, we'll see. I'm going a lot slower than I would like. I can give it some more throttle to compensate. overheating a little bit there. Just pull back a bit. Those other markers off in the distance might be related to other points of interest. Maybe they're related to my flight plan. I'm not sure.
Nice rainbow off the left side, double rainbow. If I look at my nav log, what does it tell me? I'm approved. So I guess I'll be three nautical miles out before landing. Anyway, <clears throat> not sure when the co-pilot's going to contact him. ATC is turned on for AI. just assume the pilot's going to contact at some point. Maybe I can figure out how close I am with the VFR map. Yeah, I'm actually pretty close, so... I'm not sure. I feel like the co-pilot would have contacted them by now. Display direction, I'm not sure what that does, but we'll see. I saw something pop up on the screen. Yeah, I feel like I'm super close to the airport and we haven't contacted them for landing, so I don't quite know what to do. Cheyenne Tower KA-467 is 4 miles southeast, 7,100 feet with Mike to land. Okay, well I'm cleared to land. There's the landing pattern, so let's disengage autopilot and see if I can do this. This all feels different than what I'm used to. Fortunately, we're going at a nice slow speed, so... Okay, why haven't we acknowledged? Clear to land runway tree 1KA467. Yeah, this all seems very different from what I'm used to. Um, we're obviously going too fast at this point. So I don't know if this is going to be a good landing or not. Yeah, this does seem too fast, so I'm going to go ahead and go around. Okay, I'll have to get used to the new pattern guidance because I don't really understand it.
So I'm going to pass the airport and then turn around and try again. I don't seem to be able to gain any more speed. Flaps are all the way down. I'm getting very close to stall speed, so I'm not really sure what's going wrong here. The flaps are down. Flaps are down, throttles all the way up, and yet I'm not able to pick up any speed for some reason. Just making my way back to the pattern entrance. Um, not sure why we're not able to gain any more speed than this with the engines all the way up. Now we just keep dropping, dropping at speed. Okay, I think I can get back into the landing pattern here. So it seems like I'm going to have to relearn landings because this wasn't making a lot of sense. I'm used to a much more authoritative pattern entrance. It seems like the AI wasn't doing its job to contact the tower properly. I think these things will be ironed out, but I may have to just get used to compensating. Okay, I think I can drop throttle now. We're sort of in line to land, finally, so go ahead and drop that throttle down, and I think we'll be okay. See if I can stay on the runway. Try to hover before dropping down. Okay, I feel like ultimately this could end up being an okay landing. Okay, a little, a little touchy there, but it wasn't so bad. Let's uh, pull over here. Okay, parking brake on. Let's contact ground. 121 decimal niner KA467. Mm -hmm. 
Cheyenne ground, KA-467 taxi to parking. KA-467 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie. Taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie KA-467. So I'm guessing that's a more advanced landing experience. I'm going to have to get used to it. I'm used to more the training wheels approach. I don't know if that can be enabled or not. I feel like I'd like to move on from that training wheels style, so that would be nice, but I really wasn't sure how to make this work other than going around and retrying it. I am confused a little bit by... Okay, let's see if we can stop here. <laughs> Uh, confused by the inability to gain speed. Alright, we need to adjust this a little bit. Um, one thing I can do, there is this reverse thrust. So I should be able to back up a little bit. Maybe I can just right back up right into the... Now I'm going forward again. I feel like that should be giving me some reverse thrust, but I'm not getting it. back to our normal throttle, and let's see if I can turn us around, get parked. What is that? Okay, so we're parked. I'm really curious though, what is this big monolith? Oh, that's just a tower. Okay. It's okay to be there. I'm gonna switch to the drone, which is sideways or something. Let's uh, reset that. Just wanted to pop up and see if I can see anything. Alright, well this is Cheyenne, Wyoming. Alright, let's go back inside. Oops, I have to switch to external view. Go inside, reset the view. Shut the engines down. It feels like an entirely different game. Uh, they could almost call it a 2.0. The plus side is the graphics is are very smooth. Didn't really notice stutters. Didn't really notice any kind of frame rate problems. Um, it does seem like something has changed around the AI and landing and the pattern entrance. So I'll need to investigate that. It'll take some getting used to. Uh, let's go ahead and shut the plane off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350 Air King Air. Oops, I said that wrong. I will start over.
I'm flying a Beechcraft 350 Air King Eye 